Alright, hello all of Minecraftia. I'm here today to show you guys a fully functioning working clock tower that actually tells the time of day to a certain extent. It only has four hands, but believe me, that was an accomplishment in and of itself. It goes from either noon, three, six, or nine, all the way around, again and again and again. And as you may recall, a Minecraft day-night cycle is uh, 20 minutes long, so that means that a quarter of an hour is two and a half minutes. I turned this on just a minute ago, so once that hits 6 p.m., you'll see it change. Go ahead and stand over here. So basically, you have your uh, clock mechanism in the middle, which has four different parts. Uh, one that tells it to go from 12 to 3, one that tells it to go from 3 to 6, one that tells it to go from 6 to 9, and one from 6 to 12. And those are kind of complicated, but that's all it ends up being in the end. Um, in the middle, there is a port that takes in an input and sends it to either A, B, C, or D. Uh, and so the first time it comes in, it'll go to A, and that will correspond to 12 to 3, so then it'll switch the clock from 12 to 3. And then the next time it comes in, it'll go to B, and that switches it from 3 to 6. So there's a nice little piston port switch that I just made up myself. It's probably been done before by somebody else. Um, the clock I experimented with until I could just figure it out. Because as far as I know, no one else has made a fully functioning clock tower before. And then in front of the port is a really, really, really long delay that corresponds to approximately two and a half real life minutes. I know there's uh, probably, I think there's ways of making exponential style delays and uh, things like that, but I didn't. My brain was about fried. There you go, you just see the clock change. And uh, just after six. But um, the. Uh, delay that I put in um, was just a bunch of repeaters, approximately uh, 370 some repeaters, 375 if you do the math exactly, but there's some redstone to go through, so it's if you do that you'll end up being behind ever so slightly, and I didn't want it to be behind, if anything, I wanted the clock to be ahead. You know, once the clock changes, you check the time, it's just after 6. So just to give you a brief preview of all this. Um, I went ahead and outfitted the whole structure just to show you that it could be put into your server's town or something like that. It's not a bunch of annoying uh, garish looking redstone. So um, anyway, this is the end of the delay. Uh, it goes all the way up and there's a, some spot over there. You don't have to worry about the delay, you can do whatever kind of delay you want. This is the start button, whenever I need to reset it, I can just destroy one redstone and start it up again. Um, my port switch is here, just a nice little piston mechanic, and it moves the blocks around. I'll see if I can come back down here. I want to show you how the thing moves. Uh, it's going to go from 6 to 9. Oh, this is actually, actually good stand over here. But anyway, um, the all the clockwork is in here, so it just moves the glowstone out and then the next one in each time. Uh, the wall, the, the clock wall I have is black wool. I just wanted something that was very, very contrasting to glowstone and it shows up really nicely at night. Other than that, uh, that's about it. Um, here's our delay getting down to the bottom here, so if we go over, there's 9, and uh, 6 is right over here. Let's see a move in about a minute. <laughs> so I've got each each switch so that um, there's, a, there's a repeater in each section so that it goes in front of the repeater and then it it triggers the 6, for example, and the 9 at the same time. And that's and that's really all there is to it. And the next one triggers the 9, the closing part of the 9, and the opening part of the 12. And th 
that's really that's really all there is to it. I'm not really doing a tutorial with this video. I just wanted to show you all. If, if, if everybody really wants a tutorial, I guess I can try and show you how to make the clock mechanism because it was a pain in the ass. This isn't bad. It's just a simple uh, piston moving switch. And, and then you can do whatever you want to d delay, really. But um, um, as for size and practicality, which is one of the things I was trying to keep in check when I made this, the inside, not including the outside uh, fortifications, is a 13 by 13 square, this iron square you see here. And that's basically what you need in terms of space um, to fit the clock. Uh, you, you might be able to shave off like one wall if you uh, moved one of the redstone chains around, but in terms of overall symmetry and that sort of thing, you need 13 by 13, and then I just added on the outside. Right now it's about, what, uh, 6, 19 by 19 if you include the columns, but 13 by 13 to get um, the clock face and another wall on each side. And then as for height, um, you can fit the entire clock mechanism in about the height of the clock. You can't really fit the port in there though, so I put the port about down here, and then the delay is just is just everywhere. Just to give you the specifications, if you wanted to try and fit it into your town, I'll go through one more uh, change and hit the video, and the video after that. Um, but that's about it. Um, yeah, what is it right now? Um, time is eleven. Um, Time set hour. Let's do 23. Just to show you how it looks at night. And, um, even from far away. Or at least a little bit darker, anyway. And uh, oh, as for the delay, um, I think it's about within an accuracy of a minute or two minutes. There you go. And uh, I didn't really play with it much after that. I just wanted to get the clock working, but it can definitely go for about a couple days, I think, without you guys noticing the the difference. Obviously, you're not going to really use it to tell the time, but I figured, hey, no one's made a functioning clock tower yet, so. There you go. Check that one off the list. Hope you guys enjoy it.